sorry about this. K9 demonstration on Wednesday, mm -hmm. October 10, 11 a.m. to 11.45. Yeah, we're going to see the dogs do the K9 demonstration. See, next reminder for this event will be sent in two days, two minutes. It's on Willoughby Park. It's in 11100 Northwest 44th Street, Sunrise. That's where we're meeting everybody. We're not meeting anywhere first. That's the radical unschooled in Broward. That's the canine demonstration. You're going to show the police dogs. I think that we should get our dogs some jobs too, dolphin. What? We get you a job too, not just the dogs. Dolphin, listen to this. There is no common meaning of words that is just a play on words or pun in itself. As many autistics have noted, there is no normal when it comes to behavior despite parents wanting their autistic offspring to behave as normal as possible. When a lexicographer gives seven meanings and within those five other sub meanings that lexicographer defining those words as he or she wants them to mean there is no way to eliminate human bias in any part of human existence everything in life is completely biased even the messages on this list and no one is above bias even when it comes to the meaning of words Take the word love, for example. I bet there is as just as many meanings as humans and to state that there is a common meaning for the word love is to impose one's 
persons, meaning on 8 billion people, even if less than 16% speak English. Everyone states that he or she means in any word, even in the word neutral. That is a word that few, if any, persons want to talk about these days, as few have the guts to state what they see as completely neutral position to any issue and discuss their neutral position on a forum. I, uh, would you define yourself as neutral, Dolphin? Even autism has no common meaning to, to many parents of autistic children. It is classified in their minds as a devastating illness, but to S.D. Wolfong in Toronto, a parent of an autistic boy, autism is seen as a joy. There again, it shows that there are no common meanings at all for any words. You see, that would really stress me out, Dolphin. I believe that would be, well, I mean, if there's no common meaning for a word, then, I mean, then, then why even use words at all, ever? I mean, for anything. Um, and anyone who decrees a common <laughs> meaning is imposing his and her meaning of, on the words themselves. I know, I completely agree with you. Another word that has millions of meanings, both in denotation and connotation, is the word fun. What is fun to one person can be seen as pure hell to another. Well, then it wouldn't be fun. I mean, fun would base. I don't agree with that, though, because fun would be meaning one thing where it's pleasant experience for me. Even if it's not a pleasant experience for someone else, it would still be fun for, like, I don't know what, I mean, that, I can't really say that. I mean, it just, okay, pure health to another, but then it wouldn't be fun for them. Then, I mean, but fun will still mean fun. I mean, it still means it's a pleasant experience. I really can't take apart this take on words meaning dolphin. I don't know what, it, what you think of this. Take the case recently of three teenage girls who alleged to have fun burning the ears and other forms of legal assault on another girl near Dartmouth North and Ness. Um, to the girl who was subject to this abuse, it was no fun at all. Okay, yeah, that, but yeah, it's no fun at all, but, uh, mm, Okay, I could understand somewhat of what he's saying, but not all the way. I mean, I mean, fun still means one common meaning. It's just not, it could be experienced differently at different intervals for different people, but it still has the same common meaning. So I don't agree with him on that aspect at all. I don't know what you think. It's all a matter of personal respect for personal differences, even in the meaning of words. I, well, I mean, if a word doesn't mean anything, any common thing, then why? what's the point of using it? Let's just like all become nonverbal all over again if words don't mean any, don't, don't have any common meaning. You know, I mean, you know, why even use them? You know, if water means fire at some point, then why even use water to define, to, 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 I mean, I use the word water to describe water, not to describe fire. If water could mean fire, then I wouldn't even use it. But, I mean, you agree with me or what do you think? Or do you understand what he's trying to say? An opinion. Your own opinion, not mine. You have to think. You have to use your head. You have to use. You have to make. What do you think of that? You have to have an opinion or something. You know you do. Ah. Oh. With this I do under this this does make sense. Indeed, if a person has problems with his parent, he has 
there seems to be a lot of empathy, but if a person has problems in his brain, there, there often is nothing but backlash and verbal assault, often attended by loathing. Why is the brain treated with such disrespect as far as an organ? I know what he means, like mental illness. Why don't humans provide the deepest form of empathy towards those with brain or neurological problems instead of constantly telling them that they are wrong and to get it straight? Okay, that does make sense. Okay, this is, for example, this is getting really long and drawn out, but he's autistic, so that's probably why. For example, when a person has a lot of problems with mathematics, because I don't see how they relate to each other, but you could go, but I'll go on anyhow. Why don't those around provide the empathy needed for this problem, rather than constantly telling the person, at least in school, come on now, if others can get it, you can get it, just use your common sense and you will find an answer. Such a heretical approach to any issue of one person pretending to be better than the other only adds more woes to the person with the brain problem. But I don't really know if you could really categorize not getting mathematics as a brain problem. In which case, you know, where does it end? He just goes on with more and more examples. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's just giving more examples, so I'm not going to get into it really more. As the title of the book by Edward Del Bono said it, I am right, you are wrong. That is the current dilemma of human nature in the global perspective as well as in the realm of person-to-person -person communication, autistic or otherwise. In that, I could agree. <laughs> That's how it always is, dolphin. Oh, conference. Okay. Yeah, they're calling us for the conference, but she, you know, she spelled conference, conference, with a G. I was wondering what that was. She wants to know where in Florida we live in so she could do our name tags. Bear in Florida. Well, we could say South Florida, Fort Lauderdale area, Davie, Florida, Hollywood, Florida. It's like we could pick, just pick one. Either of those would be correct. That I don't think she just wants a big old list. <clears throat> That's it. I'm going to pick up some, and then we're going to do some like we're going to do some um like work, and we won't have to do it like work because you don't get paid. If you don't get paid, then it's not really like work. I mean, that's how it's called. And you're not volunteering. That's a different word. I mean, like, like it's fun, but it's not like play. Because if you're learning in school, they call it work, like homework. They call it work. That's that's what they did with schooling. They made learning not fun, or like it has to do, and that's why it became work. This is like a pizza. And we're gonna put it all together. And you pick which one first. Which one you want to put in first. Okay. You're gonna like all these. Look at these. And you're gonna put it here. Yeah, I know. You're all sticky still. We mix these up. Yep. Okay, we get.
Okay. Check out. It. Check it out. No. Check. Check it out. Check. That's not the right. Check it out. Okay, we got. Check it out. That's still not right. Check it out. Check it out. Check it. Check it out. That's it. Almost got it done. I think I don't have my rhythm today too much. I'm getting my rhythm. Check it out. Okay, check it out. Look. Dolphin. Pick one. I know you just ate the pick. Pick one to start with. Uh, if you want, I could go first. And you go after. Yeah, you know I'm bugging you. I'm going to do it first, and then I'm just going to ignore you then. I'm picking this one. It says one-third, and it fits right in here. Dump it up. One-third. Uh, which one do you think is going to fit next? You pick one now. I went first. You pick one now. <laughs> You pick one now. I know you're like not you're not paying attention because Sarah's got a camera all and off and everything. But in which case, I would imagine you like to show off. Okay. Which one? Eyes. Switch to eyes. One, two, three, four, five eyes. One, two, three, four, five eyes. One, two, three, four, five eyes. Hmm. I'm gonna go without you and then you can't see nothing. Just look what I've got. That's the next one. You know why I got that one? Because it says one third. Just like this one says one third, and I'm gonna make them into all one third pieces. One, two, and now I need just one more, and I'm gonna grab another one. As you know, it's a different color, but it's the same shape. Look, it's the same shape. One third, one third, it always has the same shape right there, like a pizza, but this is like a small pizza. So you put it, even if it's different colors, because sometimes the colors mean any something, but in this case, it doesn't mean different shapes. It's like they're all one third, even if they're different colors. And there, I got, this is the pizza cut up in one third pieces, which is like one, two, three. So that, these two will be two thirds right there. One third, and that will be another one third. And I'll make it two thirds. And then if you put this one, that's like three thirds. So that's three thirds of one. That will make one whole piece. Now we got to go on now. Now which way you want to go? Because we, there's so many different ways of cutting the pizza pie. Now, so which color you want to pick? Orange or red? or green and look you know what look at these this is this is look these look like it will be like the same because it's the same color but it's not look look it's not the same you would think like they would fit because they were like the same color but they're not because this one is like what it says it says one fourth and this one is like one eighth which one would you like? Which one would you like? I will just help you disengage. Which one would you like? I know, I know you can't fit. Okay. I see you looking, but try to make your eyes follow. Try, I mean, try to make your hand follow your eyes. I know. You got it? Try to make your eye, but yeah. Like after, I saw you look first, but then after you look, like when you see, when, when you look get at it, right after, then hit it, you know? I, yeah, 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 good. That's the one you're picking, good. Good, I got it. The one quarter. That's one quarter. Got it. 
you have to like after you look then 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 like switch to your hand make your hand look like see with your hands after okay now which one you want now there are different kinds actually there's even this like the big one the big red one you want the big red one or the little red one look this is the same thing too look this one is oh no it isn't the same color there's some deviation of this color it looked like the same color at first but it's just in the same family of colors which one you picking i i didn't know which one you picked uh one eighth or the one quarter can you do it again just one more time you saw first now with your hand now make your hand follow which one I know you picked one of those, but I didn't know which one. Was it the one eighth orange, or was it 